the lobby the beautiful beautiful lobby beautiful day I'm just heading to the car park to get the car we haven't driven for a couple of days, have we? No. Well, you haven't. Yeah, I haven't. <laughs> Excited. Yeah. Car park is busy. We're somewhere on the upward ramp. Right, so we need to go down. So we're going down to level P3. Do you want to leave you two? Yeah. Like and oh, we were somewhere up, up here, weren't we? Oh, Rich is going to pull out. Here it comes. It's so big. Morning. Morning. It's Saturday the 10th, I think. 11th. Saturday 11th. the 11th of May. So we are in the car. It's 6.30 a.m. We were up at the crack of dawn this morning. <laughs> we were. And we're heading to Pearl Harbor. Yes. So the memorial site. So we are. Um, we haven't got tickets. You can book tickets 60 days in advance online. I think you just have to pay a dollar each for booking. Um, because we played around with our plans, we didn't have the tickets originally planned because we wanted to spend more time at Olani. But we want to visit, don't we? Yes. Uh, we're not sure how much we're going to film there, to be honest, because of the nature of the site. Um, it's a memorial site. And so we want to be respectful, don't we? Yeah, we want to be very respectful. So I don't think we'll film a lot. We may take a couple of pictures and put them in. Um, but we'll mainly film from an informational point of view, so that you know like what the parking's like and what the weight was like and the practicalities. Of the it, practicalities, yeah. yeah. So the drive from Aulani is about 23 minutes according to Google Maps. <laughs> it seems to be quite an easy drive, so we'll report on that when we get there. But basically, if you haven't got tickets, you can get there from 7 a.m. and it opens at seven, you just line up and they'll give you the next available walk-up tickets. So we'll see if we're lucky. If we're not, we'll just have a little look around and come back. Yeah. <laughs> Either way, we're gonna have been there in some form. Exactly, yeah. So we're heading there now. A little bit of wet and wild there, which is very cool. As we head on our way. It's even Hawaii, but wet. Stunning scenery as the sun's coming up. You see all the cloud over the hills. It's really stunning. I don't think the camera does it justice. There we go. That's giving us a better view. Wow. It's like nothing I've ever seen before. What do you think? It's a bit like different types of clouds here, isn't there? That you're used to seeing at home. It's a big line, so we're gonna wait and see what time we can get seen. But yeah, definitely arrive a lot earlier than us. So this is the line at 7 a.m. So definitely arrive early. Heading in now, one thing important to remember is that there is no bags allowed and they will ask you to check it in or leave it in your car. Or leave it in your car. Yeah. yeah. Is there a cost to check it into a lot? lot Five dollars. Alright you guys. Five dollars. Gonna... 
So when you come through security, the actual line splits off depending on which tour um, that you've chosen, which ticket you need. So just bear in mind that there's two different. This is the Arizona. This is the Arizona. This, that's the Missouri. The Missouri. So just bear in mind that this it splits off into two. And we've just been handed our tickets for the first tour of the day, which is 7.30, so it's super easy. As soon as you come through security, you just get in the correct line and get your tickets handed to you. And we're just gonna go through now and look at some pictures. Have a little look around there's the walk of remembrance which we're going to do after but obviously we're going to head now to the theater for the first uh, theater of the day which obviously is a 23 minute um video just talking through you know what happened um all the history to it so it's, it's obviously in everyone's mind mm. um and then obviously i think we have a small boat tour to go out yeah so We'll let you know what we do. One thing to mention, we did get a little bit scared when we first arrived and saw the queue, but it moved really quickly. A lot of them were tour groups, yeah. so we didn't realise, we thought it was everybody individual, but it was a lot of tour groups. And then the whole bag situation, because we didn't have a bag with us, I ran it back to the car. It meant that we just didn't have to go to the baggage storage area, and we just went through the show away. Yeah. To your left is the Memorial Theatre. There's also a museum there as well. So let's go to the Three minutes and then we'll be taken through.
Okay, so we did a 23 minute video, mm -hmm. which literally told the full story, which was really, really interesting. I think that's, I've learned so much just from that short video. I know we've both seen the movie, but I think coming here, seeing it puts it into a real, real perspective. Yeah, and then you come out and you, as you saw, you brought a boat. Um, really, really good. Doesn't matter where you sit on the boat because it goes up and they loop round. Yeah. So you don't have to worry about rushing to get a certain side. Um, really quite smooth. So really don't worry smooth. about waves and stuff. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I just think everyone should do it. Um, we've obviously hopefully been sympathetic in our footage because it is very, um, you know, we certainly haven't vlogged when no. we've been on the tours or anything. But I think everyone should do it. Yeah. And we're going to go to the gift shop now and see if we can find a pin because we love to get a pin from everywhere we go. So let's so, yeah. go see. It's on our way back now to the hotel. It's about another 24 minute drive, I think it's said. Um, there is 1,300 free tickets per day um, that are first come, first served. So we didn't pay a penny today for parking, for the memorial, for the boat ride, anything at all. Nope. So really, really worth it. I mean, I think obviously they want everyone to access this and be able to see it. And I think it's brilliant that you can without any cost. Um, so we didn't pre-book a ticket or anything, but that still meant that we could arrive like before seven and take that opportunity. Yeah, and obviously we got there uh, just before seven o'clock. The queues were huge and we were a bit worried, but a lot of it was tours. So it went really quickly and we got on 7.30, which was the first boat of the day. Yeah, and a big tip is bags. So you will be taking out of the queue and taking over to the baggage storage area. So we just nipped ours back into the car, didn't we? Yeah, just put your valuables in your pocket. So like we put our wallet and camera with us and that was all fine. Um, but definitely worth a visit. And you can book online 60 days before for select slots. Um, I think you have to pay a dollar per person. But yeah, if you want to obviously have that guaranteed time, uh, we just thought let's get up early. Yeah. So we're now heading back to Aulani. We have to check out today. No. Very sad. I know, we're moving on to our Airbnb this afternoon, so thankfully we've got early check-in for our Airbnb at 1, so we're going to now go and jump in the pool, <laughs> so we're going to enjoy some more time in the pool at Aulani. We're really um, taking advantage of Aulani, aren't we? <laughs> we are. So we're going to have some pool time, lazy river, jacuzzi, just all our favourite things, yep. and then we've got to quickly pack get the stuff in the car and then I think it's about a half an hour drive maybe 40 minutes with traffic to our Airbnb and then we'll probably dump our stuff and do some lunch yeah but our actual plans today are really kind of not planned much at all we have got to do a lot of laundry so we're midway through the trip now we don't pack two weeks worth of clothes we pack about just over a week's worth and then we're gonna wash it so much easier for luggage space. I think knowing that our Airbnb has the washing facilities, it, it was like less pressure on us to take more than a week's worth of clothes. Yeah, so we've got our gain, uh, which we bought in Target, our favorite laundry detergent over here. And um, we're gonna um, get some stuff washed, go for a nice lunch, and then maybe go to like Kalua Beach Park, which is really close to our hotel, and maybe down at Kai Beach. Exciting, yeah. yeah, have a look around the local area. Um, just have a really chilled afternoon, probably lay on the beach. Most probably, yeah. <laughs> We didn't get blue, Luke's favourite colour. I know, the lady was so nice today. Really nice. She's asking us about the royal baby. Super busy today. Really busy. You can tell it's Saturday. A massive contrast to when we were here uh, midweek. <laughs> so it's currently 9am, we're just trying to find a sunbed. And um, we're not having much luck, so I think we're going to try and find a quieter spot. Everything's taken. So yeah, you need to get out really at 8 o'clock here on the dock. But the hot tub's not too busy. Sometimes, so, right. Yeah, we could use those. We could use somewhere to put our stuff while we go in. Yeah. Just put it here. So this is not too bad spot, right by the water. Our last look at the sea. Are we going to get a ring? We're going to get a ring and go around the lazy. Do you want to go on the slide? 
Yeah, I think we're going to slide today. Let's see what the line's like. I think we should. That pool is so gorgeous. But yeah, Saturday is busy. We, the hotel's fully booked. Yep. We did manage to get late checkout till 12, but she did say it was very, very busy today. So that was like the latest they would the do. The latest they would absolutely do. But there is, there is a room that you can get changed if you have a later yeah, flight. Yes, so if you do have a really late flight, there is a room set up where you can go and freshen up. And shower. And shower. So yeah, that's obviously why they don't do late checkout so much. But we're going to see what the lines are like for the water slide now. Um, I'd say pretty long. <laughs> Oh no, hold on. They're just having trouble getting up there. It's not too bad. No, it's not too bad. It's actually a ring there and a ring up there. So we luckily found some rings on the way. That's very convenient. I'll take this one. Hi there. Thank you. Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! Yes! <laughs> He stayed oh. on! <laughs> so good. <laughs> so far. The lady gave you a little push up. She did, yeah, because I was doing it one handed. <laughs> that was so good. Yeah. And now we're in the lovely lady. You're quite happy now because you managed to stay on, you don't have to get back on your ring. <laughs> yeah, it didn't go on there. Just chilling. How much are you going to miss this lazy river? So lovely. You come out of this lovely bit. Yeah, that garden. So they've got photo pass photographers out in the water, which is cool. <laughs> Richard's favourite bit. Apart from the bubble floor. <laughs> <laughs> it's too strong. We need to go this way. <laughs> okay, are we going to see this sail? <laughs> Still the shooting water. Rich is racing to his favourite bit now. He's pulling me out. <laughs> <laughs> it's a bubbly beer. That was good fun. That was really good fun. Yeah. We're now gonna go. <laughs> <laughs> you trying to get me wet. You. Oh. We're now gonna head in the pool we haven't been in yet. Yeah, there's like a, um, a family, um, like a fantasy pool, cave area. So we're gonna head there. Yeah. It's busy normally, so we're gonna head there early. So at the lava shack, they didn't have freestyle machines at all, but there is one now, so we can get our drinks there. Yeah, it was yeah. out of order when we arrived, but... Well, that's handy because it's convenient for walking back to the room. And it's just um, in front of the um, shaved ice and it's it's snacks shop. Oh, it's so lovely. So here is the other pool we were talking about. I think it's like the original infinity pool. Ow. So they do have free iced water here as well, around, which is really good. Look at this pool. It looks it's really nice. Like the infinity pool area there and the cave. There. And there's a spa in the cave. Well, this is really smooth, this one. Look at this. We're going to head right up to the end. It's beautiful. It's nice, isn't it? It's really warm. It's warmer than the lazy river. Yeah, it's lovely. Head right. The floor is really soft, really isn't it? Floor, yeah. Really nice. All the caves. We're going to the cave in a minute. And then 
right up. Look at that. That is a view. This is nice. This pool's warm. Nice? I can just back up to show you Rich. Look at that. If I just back up a little bit, I can see the infinity element to it. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> ah, it's lovely. Much busier this bit cool though. Yeah, but it's nice that they've created an area for families. And there's a nice big hot tub this. over there as well. Look at the detail on this cave up here. It's really cool. You can see all the shells and stuff inside the cave. Yeah, it's really cool. It's got like, so much detail to it. It's really cool. Yeah. There's a hot tub in there. Here it is. Favourite jacuzzi of all. Look at that. There we go. Richardson's in his element. Happy? Rich is chilling right now. It's very hot and relaxing in here. Oh, Lani. We've just done the room check to make sure we haven't forgotten anything. Mm. It's always a sad moment, but exciting because we're going on to our Airbnb though. It is, but it's really hard to leave here because it's such a lovely resort. We really, we do really feel sad about leaving. Yeah. Um, we're going to give you a full review in the car, but we just wanted to show you here. It's a little bit cloudy today, but we're hoping we're going to go to the other side of the island. So we're hoping that things are a little bit nicer there. But this is our last view. Just out. We're going to do our way to Alani now. Bye. Bye, Alani. Oh. So we're going to take our stuff down and take the drive over. This should be about 45 minutes to Yeah, an hour. 45 minutes to an hour. Final time in this lovely elevator with the music. Plays all the uh, Disney songs in Hawaii. I can't believe we heard You Are My Sunshine. I know. I know. The lobby. Over it. Lobby. Lobby. When you walk out the elevator, this is your view. Like, how hard is that to say goodbye to that view? Oh. Our last, talk, last time walking down this beautiful... past the lovely shop that has had a lot of our money from Calipa store. Ah. <laughs> Oh, the music's playing and everything. Rich, do you want one more look outside? We're gonna have one more look outside. I feel the cool breeze. Oh. Time to go. Doing it for the gram. I'm <laughs> sending this to a special friend. Um, I'm just about to post it in the post box before I just did a picture out here beforehand. Yeah. But look at that, one last look at that view. Bye Olani. No, nice. We will see you again. We will. We're gonna we be will. Back. We're gonna be back. Yeah. So there's reception over there. So if you need to mail something, just here, there is a mail slot. So bye Mickey Mini. There we go. Dutch the car park, it's not far. At all. Uh, we never had problems parking here, have we? No, so it's always, I mean, the resort is busy today. Yeah. Weekend, but there's still plenty of parking spaces available. Yeah, they opened up the other bit they were cleaning. And you can just pay. We obviously get it free because we are renting DVC, but it's $37 otherwise. There we go. So we managed to clean the window off. We used the armor wipes we bought. Because we like to have a clear window for you guys when we're vlogging. 
and I've still got the uh, wipers on, sorry about that. So yeah, they came in really handy. We've just cleaned off that annoying piece of paper that's on there. <laughs> the car was brand new, I don't know why it was on there. So we're all set. Yes. It's a lovely, lovely car. Um, luggage is all in and ready. There's so many USB ports in this car, it's insane. There are, so we're gonna get plugged in. It's actually, that's an hour out that clock, so it's quarter past 12. So we're gonna head off and we'll catch Good up with you other time. So sad. Oh, here we go. We do get to drive around the reception because to get out you have to go around the front way. It's all one way. So we will get to drive past one more time. Look at that beautiful resort. Ikomomai. Ikomomai. Welcome. So if you're dropping off, you just pull into there and they'll help you. Otherwise you have to continue in the left lane and then you can loop round. You just loop round. But every time you exit you get this gorgeous view of the entrance to the lobby. Oh look. So gorgeous. Oh, I can cry right now. <laughs> oh, bye Olani. But we've been here and we're gonna come back. And that's the valet parking just there. So we will be back. Yeah. over there where we were having our gorgeous lunch yesterday. We were just saying with the train track coming through it's such a gorgeous area. Yeah Coalina we haven't really seen enough of it ourselves it's just such a beautiful place. But yeah people are having their lovely lunch and the musicians just setting up like they were yesterday. That is a good place that monkey pod kitchen. Yes. Definitely worth a visit if you're here. And there's more locations than just Coalina. Yeah they've got a few. Our final look. There it is. Bye. So now that we're on our way, um, we want to just do a quick review of Olani. Yes. Amazing. It's so amazing. <laughs> yeah, it's honestly one of the most fantastic places. Um, we will definitely be back. Um, the character meets, the, the whole service full stop has just been fantastic. And the food was so, so good. Even the quick service, it was really good. It was. Um, so everything was really great and we would, like, I think from now, I think we would say we purposely didn't explore much of Oahu while we were at Olani. Because Olani is so expensive, we wanted to make sure we made the most of the resort. And we feel like we've done that, don't we? Yes. So this second part, we're staying in Airbnb, which is a lot cheaper, um, but it means we can uh, explore the island and not feel that we're missing out on a resort, if you know what I mean. Mm. So I think we, we felt that a few more days would have been nice to do at Olani, but we wouldn't want to go exploring from there. We'd want to take it in. One other thing we'd mention is if you wanted to come in and experience Olani without actually staying there, like booking a night there, then you can actually book a dining reservation. So you can come in and, and do that as an option. Yeah, which is really good. So you can book the character breakfast or the character dinner. Um, that means you can come in and explore the resort. You could go in the shop. You can walk around the grounds. The only thing you can't do is like character meets and the pool, the pool because that all requires a wristband. But you can get a shaved ice. You can get the Mickey shaved dole ice, dole whip. Yeah, there's quite a lot you can do with, with a dining reservation, having a couple of hours afterwards. Yes. So um, that'd be nice. But yeah, 100% recommend a trip. And we will be back at some point. We're gonna try and fit it in in whatever year. We're already thinking about planning, <laughs> yeah. So now we're heading to an Airbnb. We booked it, it's in Kailua, which is on the other side of the island, on the west side, east side. Yeah, we're on the west now. This is the east side of the island we're going to. Well. <laughs> it felt like a good location because Kailua had really good reviews and it's near Lanakai Beach and Kailua Beach Park is a walk away. It's like a little studio, so it's got a, like a bed, um, kitchen and a bathroom all in one. So it's, it's all not, we need, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, but it's got laundry, which was important to us, and it's got a car parking space. So it's a really good base for the other side of the island. So. And you've, you've chatted to the, um, the owner and she's been really friendly and she has amazing reviews. I think she's classed as a super host. Yeah, super host and five out of five on everything. So we're really confident. Yeah, if you're looking to use Airbnb, obviously it's all through the app and the reviews you can read and so on. So 
yeah that's our plan so we're gonna get there explore i think we're gonna get some lunch we've seen a burger place nearby haven't we yeah we've already like scouted the area to see where we can go yeah on. and there's also a place called cinnamons that do like red velvet pancakes no yeah but they only open till two so we're gonna be a bit tight today but we will go there yeah another time so uh we'll catch up with you along the way